So if you've got a granny charger, an EV cable like this, and most of them are look something like this, and you want to extend the length of it, because normally they're about kind of five meters long when you unravel them, then something that you can't use is a standard kind of extension cable, uh, like a four-way kind of extension cable that you might find in uh, various stores. And the reason for that mainly is because it's just too, um, too many amps coming through it. It will just melt these things. They're not made for use like this. And basically, um, obviously they're not waterproof either if you're going to sort of be trailing this thing outside. So not really a great idea at all. So you could go out and buy a better quality extension from eBay. Or you could make one yourself. And that's exactly what I've done. So let's have a look at it. So this is the one that I made up myself. Uh, it wasn't too expensive to make, and I'll tell you the prices in a moment. But what we've basically got here is a standard kind of screw fix uh, wall based uh, plug socket uh, that you'd normally find on your wall at home. You can buy these, they're IP rated. Um, they've obviously got the plug socket inside with a catch. So you've got your plug socket. It's also got another on off switch inside with a light to tell you it's on or not. And it's got, uh, it's all sealed inside as well. And it's got a catch on it. Okay, so that's waterproofed. What also we've got on the end here is a standard kind of um, plastic uh, grommet here. Or gland, whatever you want to call it. Now what I've done is I've put it on the top here so that the plug cable from the EV charger would plug in like this and then you would lock it up like that and then the cable going towards the EV is going out that way and the other end is going out that way in a straight line. And then what I've got here is then some flexible uh, cable. We'll have a closer look at this in a minute. And this was bought from um, Medlock. This is an electrical uh, trade kind of wholesaler that you may have local to you. If not, you could go to your uh, regional kind of your local uh, electrical wholesaler or trader in order to get this. The best thing about getting that from uh, an like electrical wholesaler is that the quality is going to be really good because that's where the trade goes. Okay, And you can also buy this in lengths of per meter. So it's going to be priced per meter uh, as opposed to buying a longer length on a reel that you don't really want. It's quite flexible. Uh, it's fully waterproofed. And I'll zoom in on the uh, details on the cable in a minute. And then I've just basically put a standard uh, three pin plug in there. So this would obviously be plugged in um, into the house uh, and then you would just run the whole thing out. So how long you make this cable is up to you. I've gone for five meters. So I've kind of got 10 meters in total. Um, that's usually more than enough. So this is really easy to wire up. This is just a three core cable uh, going into this plug and it's got 13 amp fuse on it because the granny chargers, the slow chargers, normally run at 10 amps. So that should be absolutely fine. So the cable is a Supreme Flex EN5052521, or more commonly known as an H07RNF. It's really easy to work with these as well, because these plugs here, you don't have to cut them out. They basically just pop out. So if you did want to go in another hole, you could go to the two on the bottom, one on the side, top one that I've used, and then another one there. So they just pop out. So it's really easy to wire up inside uh, with the three core cable. Now, as we have an I3 and the frunk is not completely um, waterproof, we've actually got a dry bag that we use that we put that um, extension into. Uh, it fits pretty well. This one's a five litre bag. You can get these from eBay and I'll put links in the description below. This one actually came from a store called The Range in the UK. Um, so that's where that came from. It wasn't that expensive, but it is brilliant and it does keep things ultra dry in the front. Uh, a five litre bag is all you'll need for something of this size. 
They do make different types of dry bags. There are ones that are more nylon-y. This one has got the kind of more of a harder kind of rubbery um, feel to it. So it's a slightly better quality one. So just watch out for that if you're going to order one. The actual screw fix wall socket on its own is about just under £10. And the gland itself that you see on the top there, uh, that was uh, 76 pence plus VAT. The plug, the black plug, was £2.60 plus VAT, so quite an expensive plug. I mean, you could buy a cheaper plug, to be honest. And the cable itself uh, was basically 5 metres, it's 3 core, and it was £1.25 plus VAT per metre, so I paid £6.25 plus VAT for the 5 metres. So my overall bill at Medlock for the plug, the gland and the cable came to 11 53 and the outside socket was about £10. So it came to just around £21.50 or just £20, £21 to actually build this cable, which I think is pretty good value really. I mean, you could go out and buy one that's pre-made, but at least if you build it yourself, you know how it's put together and you've put it together well. And again, you could always use the uh, socket on, the, on your house uh, as an outside socket or something afterwards if you ever wanted to use it for a, a different uh, purpose. Well, I hope that's helped if you want to extend uh, the length of your granny charger and you want to uh, build your own extension uh, cable. I hope that's just given you some ideas and shown you how I did it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.